Hello boys and girls, working on a 2020 John Deere tractor, 1971 with a diesel engine. And uh, whoever owned this tractor before me did not do any maintenance on it. It's in uh, pretty rough shape, uh, but it drives and it runs and it'll probably do what I need to do. But um, this, is a, this is an oil bath air cleaner. So um, this stands up on the tractor like this and this goes to the intake of the uh, of the tractor and this is your intake um, actually this one here is actually underneath the hood so there's no intake going up through the hood of the tractor even though I believe that if it is a diesel it does help to have one come up through the hood um, I may change that in the future, but for now I'm just going to run this underneath the hood. I'm not running at higher RPMs or high load or anything. I'm just going to use it for raking. So anyway, um, these things need to be checked regularly. It says daily inspection on there. Um, I don't think you have to do it daily, but I would do it at least once a month. If, you know, if you're in heavy dusty areas, I would definitely check it. At least once a month if you're just doing light stuff around the house or around the yard or whatever or for show or whatever I, I wouldn't think you'd have to inspect it more than once a year but it can run it can cause uh, some drivability problems such as smoking or um, poor gas mileage um, or just general use of oil in general um, so you need to check it and uh, and how you check it is you, uh, I'm just going to lay this down here, is you loosen this, you loosen this screw, and you pull this off the bottom. There's, probably, there's a lot of other videos on how to do this and stuff. But I was going to show you an example of neglect of, of, of this air cleaner if you don't clean it and take care of it. So... I pulled this off of this one and um, there's an insert in here this this thing comes out I'll just pop it out on the ground here I'm not too worried about it getting dirty because it is caked with dirt already oh now it doesn't want to come out here it comes uh, well everything's hard to do with one hand Any day now. Almost got it. Almost got it. Got it. So when I took this off, this was caked to the bottom. And there was no oil in it. There was just this a uh, little bit of water because I washed the tractor and I got some in there. And it somehow soaked through this thing, which I just showed. I'm going to show you the element. So this was caked underneath there. There was no oil in it. And I'm going to show you why there was no oil in it. One, probably nobody took care of it. The second reason is, see this bottom part? This is supposed to have a screen in it. And then there's, this stuff is supposed to be, um, um, have, supposed to be able to pass air through. That right here is all caked grease from lack of cleaning. Um, it's a simple job. You just pop that off, pop the oil out, put new oil in it, you know. And there's really no cleaning of this part right here, except for maybe a couple, you know, dandelion seeds get in there or dust or whatnot. But this one you can see is just caked. I've never, this is the worst one I've ever seen. And it looks like somebody tried to clean it oh, on this side. It looks like the screen is gone. I don't know if you can get these new or how you get these replaced. I think I'm just gonna clean it up the best I can and then, um, you know the stuff that's in there almost looks like steel wool or not steel wool but uh, it kind of looks like that stuff they use for washing dishes that like scrubbing stuff so I'm gonna see what's left of this when I'm done cleaning it I'm gonna probably clean it with some diesel fuel and see what happens you know diesel fuel right now is six seven eight bucks whatever it is depending on where you live so it's gonna be an expensive job but you know um, We'll see what happens. And I might do a video after this and see um, 
and show you what what happened and what this looks like after it's cleaned up. All right, thanks for watching.